Hey folks, it's uh, Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com and this is Wednesday and it is December 26. Markets are opening after a, the Christmas holiday and we can see that the S&P is up about 27, uh, 75, 28 uh, points and so looks like a bullish day at the start and so what we want to do is look for all the stocks that are be, uh, behaving bullish. Now the market is going to open in about 2 minutes 45 seconds so uh, what I want to just run through is a couple of quick things. In the pre-market session, what you can do is, because pre-markets are also plotted on this, uh, what you can do is quickly run through. If you, if you know that the S&P is uh, moving in a bullish direction, then what you want to do is just go through, cycle through these stocks and see which one would be a good trade. Now, Apple is not completely correlating, but it is very bullish because, uh, as you can see uh, from the charts itself, it's a, it's a pretty bullish price action there. Uh, gold I wouldn't touch, uh, uh, Netflix as you can see once again it's not very strong. So what we want to do is filter through these and try to identify what are the best possible candidates once the market opens. So you want to do this three to five minute analysis just before the market opens so that uh, you have a good idea of which stocks you're zeroing in on for at least uh, for uh, the first couple of trades, a trade or two. So if we go to Goldman Sachs, yes, not great. Let's look at Nvidia again, not great, but I think the ES is also pulling back a little bit if I'm not mistaken. So all stocks will pull back also along with it. Let's look at Microsoft and Microsoft is also same thing. These stocks are all bullish, but uh, we're just waiting for the markets to open and see how it might move. And here we have uh, wind resorts looks like a decent candidate there. And let's see why. There it is. The Biogen is definitely bearish. So that would be uh, against the grain kind of uh, trade uh, for today. And let's look at McDonald's. That's also very bearish. As you can see, the price action is uh, below that. So uh, the market's going to open in about 45 seconds. So I'm just going to pause it here and come right back. Okay, markets are just about to open, about four seconds uh, on that. Let's see how everything is going. Okay, so we have the ES is moving up nicely. And um, as you can see, Amazon is punching up, uh, it's up 30, $38. So now that's very, it's already gone up to a uh, too high a level at this point. And so you may not want to touch Amazon right now. Boeing is looking uh, fairly decent, I believe. And so Boeing might be a trade. So let's, you know, let's just take this uh, trade on Boeing. And you want to go to the, you know, the immediate options and go to about a 40 delta option. So here we have, um, I can put a five contract position there on Boeing. Okay, so we are filled on Boeing. So we'll track this trade here. I, what I want to do is, and you have to understand these are day trades. And so once you get a move in your favor and you're happy with the results, you really should. Uh, so I'm going to track uh, Boeing now at this point. And Boeing just moved into neutral, but that's okay. Uh, it, it, this, the, it, it will move from very bullish to neutral uh, and also we have to see how the S&P reacts. So in general you want to wait a couple of minutes before you take the trade. Uh, in this case I may have jumped in a little too soon but that's all right. We can see how uh, everything uh, you know plays out because uh, obviously the beginning of the market is one where there's going to be lots of moves and lots of jumps and so we'll just uh, keep, keep an eye out on that. Boeing our position is still uh, just about flat so Let's just keep an eye out on Boeing. I'm just going to mark it right here and uh, see how it goes with that. So now as part of the risk management plan, you'll see materials in the courseware itself as to how to deal with the position if it, uh, if it's, uh, if it uh, starts going against you. The S&P is looking strong. So the S&P is up 38 points. So that's looking strong. So as long as the S&P is looking strong, I would expect Boeing to catch up with the S&P at some point and uh, move into more of a bullish uh, 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 cycle there. So let's let's just keep an eye out on Boeing here on the Boeing chart. So if you look at the trade parameters here on Boeing, we've uh, got a trade price of 3.95. That's five contracts. So 500 shares, which would mean this is an investment of about $1,900. It's still in neutral. So it was in very bullish. It's still in neutral. And you can see why uh, after the open Boeing has uh, uh, retraced some of its uh, pre-market gains and so it's natural that it would uh, come back into the neutral but now it's moving back into the uh, into the bullish uh, area. So Boeing is punching higher and I would want to see there it goes it goes from bearish now it's gone to neutral and uh, pretty soon I would want to see it go into 
the very bullish, which is then gives me conviction on my trade that we are we are in the right trade. So we're still looking at the ES. It's still looking positive. There's no question. So and uh, the ES is up 37 points. So I, I'm quite confident that I think Boeing will come through. In fact, it's moving up uh, three dollars. And so now we are down about one hundred and ten bucks. Um, let's see if we can get this into a profitable stage and we can exit the we can exit the trade. OK, so now we are in profit. Uh, you can see Boeing has gone up past uh, 298. And so we are showing a small profit. It's not a whole lot. It's about fifty dollars. Hey, folks, so this is down about six hundred. So what we want to do is at this point, I think it's worth doubling down. And therefore, I will buy five more contracts at two point seven now. And this way we can cost average. OK, so we are in on that. And so we've got uh, double down. And so now you can see Boeing is uh, starting to move up a little bit more. The markets were generally weaker. And so you had the you had the S&P come down. Uh, now it's now it's up, up over only about uh, 11 points on the ES. It's 20. So it's been coming down from uh, about 38 and 40. And that's why you see the downdraft in all the stocks as well. So I'm going to pause it again right now. OK, folks, as you can see, uh, Boeing has moved up to 302. It's been a nice move from that low point. And so what I want to do is uh, really we've got our profits here. It's, uh, it's gone into uh, it's gone into a sixteen hundred dollar profit. And so that's a great profit. I want to just close cl close the position. It was a nice smooth move all the way. And so I didn't want to mess with it. So here we have a mid price of four ninety five. I'd be happy with that. Let's uh, OK, so we have filled on that. And so that's the end of the Boeing trade. We got about sixteen hundred dollar profit. Uh, great trade uh, for one uh, day. Thank you.